hello guys so we are back with our new tutorial in this tutorial we are going to discuss uh, a very important directive that is ng click one thing you all will have to remember in angular js is that uh, whatever you define using ng like ng app ng controller anything using ng if you are defining that is called angular js directive there are so many angular js built in directive slowly slowly in coming le lectures we will be uh, discussing and explaining all those uh, directives in this directive in this tutorial i am going to discuss two things the first one is ng click directive and the second and the second one will be calling functions with ng click so how we do that for that first of all uh, paste the google api here uh, whatever url is there for angular.min.js then define a parent directive that is ng app equals to my app now our parent directive is ready let us remove this uh, let us create one div in which we will define our controller and we, how we define controller is ng controller equals to my controller see uh, whatever i am creating with ng ng app or ng controller these are angular js built in directives now uh, for writing anything inside a div and uh, it should be working according to our expectation for that you will have to write a script so for that create a script tag and one uh, reference variable for the parent directive that is angular dot module my app and opening and closing big braces these are for uh, passing dependencies but uh, since uh, we are not going that much deeper uh, we are simply learning a, by picking a few components from angular js so we will not pass that when we will be in a good situation to learn a complete application a small application then i will show you where and how dependencies are passed passed into this uh, big and big braces so now let us create a controllers body so for that we will write app.controller we will pass the controller name and comma function and uh, we will be defining only dollar scope variable so i'm passing dollar scope so what is the way of uh, creating a function so for creating a function you will have to do nothing you will have to do dollar scope dot uh, the name of the function you want to give so i'm giving this name as first function and then you will have to write equals to you will have to create one function uh, keyword and then you will have to open and close this now our function is ready now uh, after creating function we will have to call this function from controller onto ui so for that we angular js provides a very important directive that is ng click so let us create an anchor tag for that and let us uh, use that ng click directive ng click equals to now we will have to bind that function here whatever we have created in the controller so let us copy the name of the function and paste it and call the function for calling the function you will have to provide these two opening and uh, closing a small braces now when you will click on this anchor tag this will go to first controller then this will find the what is the name of the function you are passing it will match with the function uh, with all the functions which is present in controller and if it matches then it will call that function body so th this time this will match because uh, all the uppercase lowercase everything thing we have kept same and we are calling the function by using these two so and let us give some name to the anchor tag like function caller okay now let us run this program and let's see what is the output so for that alt run but before that i would like to tell you one thing uh, if a function is getting called or not how we will know if we don't have defined any variable and we are not performing any operation okay so for that there is one console.log in any scripting language like uh, angular js javascript everywhere you can use this console.log what console.log is when this co function will be called on ui when you will inspect your that particular url in in the inspect in the console you will see this message so i am being called by anchor tag this is the message message i am giving so when ever we will call this function in you will have to inspect your url and then there will be one console section in that you will see this message so let us run this program alt r and finish this so this is our url but if you see carefully right now so inspect the element 
for seeing where the console will come message will come so inspect the first right click then right click then inspect then this pop up will open then go to console now when you will click this that message will come but uh, you may be right now thinking that why this is coming like this this is not coming as hyperlink this is not coming in blue color so the reason is right we have not defined any href here at ang any anchor tag shows default behavior when we define some href equals to something then only this will show you that uh, here when you will hover it will uh, show hand and uh, this will be blue color but it is not showing so to do that we have two options either put href equal to some blank because we are not uh, willing to go to any as other html play page by using reference href so this was first way this will show you the default behavior and now when you will refresh the page you will see the be default behavior of the anchor tag and this will call the function let us call the function so let us click on this so you can see that yes our function is being called this is our function here we are calling and now we can see the console message whatever we have put into the console.log and this will also give you the information that from which line number of your html page this message is coming so this is how we make uh, uh, the default behavior of anchor tag if by putting href the second way is you can also use css for that so for that let us create a class how css is created for any particular tag is like you will have to create a class we will have to give some name so let us give anchor behavior behavior this is our class name go to head tag create one style tag into head tag always remember that style tag for writing c is for writing css and that style tag will always lie under head tag so this the, you can see that head tag is opening closing here and style tag is within that so now to uh, give css use dot and then the class name whatever you have given for any particular html tag now open and close it now in the now within this you can define the uh, css now simply put uh, you want color as blue color as blue and you want that hand uh, when you will hover on that this anchor tag you want a hand so for that uh, there is one property in css that cursor should be pointer that's it now go to back there and refresh it so you can see that now function call is coming blue and when you are hovering your hand over the uh, hovering your mouse over this this is showing you a hand so this is actually the default behavior of any anchor tag now let us click this now you can see still this function is getting call, called the number of times we are clicking here then that number of times is increasing and this is showing you that message it means for five number of times the console.log has been printed so friends in this way we call any function in angular js with ng click directive and passing the function name defining that function into the controller like dollar scope dot function name equals to function and then the body or the logic whatever you want to write for this function so i am keeping this lecture very uh, short uh, just i was willing to explain that how function is created and called in next lectures we will be writing some function and we will be playing with the logics that are written inside a function till you till then see you all in next lecture bye, -bye.